Hello from Hamburg, my name is Ivana and we missed our flight. Nadine is currently packing because we're gonna have to take a bus to Amsterdam overnight. It is now uh, almost 1 a.m. Yeah, let's go home, man. I am so tired. We only slept three hours last night because we went out, had a whole day in Hamburg, missed our flight, no sleep. Ugh. Currently walking towards the buses. Praise the Lord for the buses. Otherwise, we would have had to wait until 7 a.m. in the morning. Oh, Amsterdam, yes. Flix bus, bless you. We made it. Okay, let's go home. We made it to Nadine's place. Yay, we're home. Yay. <laughs> Nadine is also going to work today. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to get to bed. So I'm taking her to work and then I'm going back to Amsterdam. There is massive traffic right now, so no need to rush at all. We're just gonna hang out here. I barely managed to take off my makeup and brush my teeth. I'm so tired, but luckily I'm home. Well, hello again. It is 7.30. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to make lentil soup because that's easy and nutritious and healthy. I still feel half human <laughs> because I'm so tired. I slept until until what time did I sleep? Two two thirty, and I still wanted to sleep like for like four or five more hours. But I needed to record a video uh, on the hashtag Muslim ban. I really felt I needed to do that, and also I recorded a trailer reaction for the movie Bull Bulia. But then my friend Moshe Ronsha told me he couldn't get the movie, so I'm recording another one tomorrow. That also happens sometimes. You record a video and then you cannot use it. So I will just do that tomorrow. Mm, it's nice to be home, man. It's nice to be home. Just gave Stefan the chocolate. I made at the chocolate museum. But I asked him, like, I need a piece of that because I want to try it. And he's like, here's a piece. A little piece. That's <laughs> half of the chocolate. Look at this. <laughs> no, I just want one. Give me one. Break it for me. You're much stronger. Mm. Yeah, I like my alpha meal. <laughs> Small piece. Thank you. Uh, see the dark circles? Yeah, I'm tired. Mm. Ooh, I got the one with the gummy bear. Yum. Stefan is looking really sad. What is it, baby? You want the one with the gummy bear? I got the one with the red pepper. No, <laughs> with the red pepper. And it's in there. What is it? No? You don't like that? Mmm. Gummy bears. Mmm. Mmm. Look at this. How satisfying is this pink strawberry white chocolate? Mmm. Oh. It broke. Ooh. I taste the pepper too. So good. Mm. No, lentil soup, lentil soup. I have told you before that your comments are directed to a real human being. So I told you that every single day without fail, you manage to make me laugh. But also like sometimes you really, really hit me in the feels. And Tim and Gail, thank you for your comments. Sometimes I just want to highlight these things because I don't know, it will also maybe like change your perspective on things. So my wife and I, um, this is what Tim and Gail say, my wife and I, so I'm guessing it's Tim, my wife and I just returned from two weeks in India. Prior to the trip, we watched your latest India vlogs religiously. Some of your tips and experiences influenced some choices of what we did and saw. More importantly, your enth enthusiasm and positive outlook while traveling seem to have infected us as well. Seeing how you personally experienced India encouraged us to travel with a similar point of view. Our mindset was better prepared after watching your series. You made our trip to India better in this way. In the fields, Tim and Gail, in the fields. We sincerely thank you, Ivana. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I am, I, it makes me so happy to hear that. And I'm so happy you guys enjoyed India in just as much as I did. That's the point of my travel vlog, showing you 
the world in a positive way and you know if you choose to experience a place that you will enjoy it too so yeah that's really cool i like that i look like shit you see those dark circles i'm so tired but i'm going to uh, going for a walk with stefan uh, after this also one other comment from omy <laughs> for all the people who are coming to india for the first time you take care of visa and we take care of hospitality yeah that's true that's true going for a walk with stefan and it's cold but it's not windy so that's really nice even though i do look like a kind of a mummy <laughs> all wrapped up it's nice and toasty man it's nice and toasty that's landscapes <laughs> I have a little goofy tooth well actually goofy tooth yes that rhymes actually it was a literal goofy tooth because a joke and you done now what now what now what i need to go home 